Hello and welcome to new video. Today we're talking about the difference between defect, error, bug, failure and fault. That's something that you're gonna hear a lot, different terms that you're gonna use and uh, we're trying to explain what is the difference, what each term means. What is testing? Let's, let's recap. Uh, testing is a process of identifying defects. And what is a defect? Defect is any variance between actual and the expected result. What is actual result? Actual result is something that you see that uh, application is behaving. How is application behaving? An expected result is the result that is expected by the requirements. So any deviation from this expected result is a defect. Um, a mistake in coding is called error. Then error found by, by a tester is called defect. Defect accepted by the development team is bug. And the build that does not meet the requirements is a failure. Let's see what is the defect. So, as we already said, it can be simply defined as a variance between expected and actual result. The defect is an error that is found after the application goes into the production. Uh, it commonly refers to several troubles with the software products, with their external behavior or with uh, its internal features. In other words, a uh, defect is a difference between expected and actual result in the context of testing. It is deviation on of the customer requirements. Uh, let's give a few examples to uh, really try to understand uh, if you encounter that kind of situation to know, uh, okay, this is a defect. Uh, uh, when talking about defects, we can... Uh, trying to categorize them into different, well, categories. Wrong. What does that mean? Uh, defect is wrong when requirements are implemented in the wrong way. So something was supposed to be implemented on this way, which is stated in the requirements, but is implemented on the other way. For example, something was supposed to be uh, yellow, but it is orange, for example. Uh, another example, uh, some menu was supposed to be on the left side of the screen, but it ended up on the right side of the screen. Of course, um, these kind of defects were not, are not supposed to end up on production. It's something that is uh, visual right away when you start testing it. Uh, well, so it means that it almost should never go on production defects like this. But uh, I'm trying to give you examples that you just try to understand this this type of, of the defect. So it's just wrong. It's not implemented on the right way. You had the requirement, but you implemented it wrong. Missing. Uh, this is the case when the specification was there, but it's missed, it's not implemented. So it can be a case that it was either there, present in the requirements, but it was just missed out, or requirement was not noted correctly, uh, for example, during some refinement sessions, during the uh, brainstorming with the client, you were uh, uh, refining them, talking about them, but at the end you didn't note them correctly uh, as a requirement, so uh, you did not implement it. Actually, it's not uh, on you to implement, I'm, I'm talking about a development team. Uh, let's give some examples on this uh, category. So, for example, uh, on the design of the application, uh, there is a user profile page and uh, there is a user profile image and maybe next to it there is an icon, but you implemented, the development team implemented that user profile page and the user profile image, but the icon is missing. So she's not there at all. She's not implemented. Uh, another example, uh, 
there was supposed to be, for example, an, the finish and a cancel button at the end of the process for creating something, some form, some, something, anything in the application. Depends of uh, depends on uh, what is the application about. So you, there was supposed to be finish and cancel button, but instead of that, only one button is present. For example, cancel button is missing. Extra. Uh, that is a requirement that is incorporated in the product, but it was not given as a requirement uh, from the client by the end user uh, and customer, sorry. Uh, that is always a uh, variance from the specification, and that's why it is uh, declared as a defect. But it could be a situation that it is maybe an attribute that is desired by the user of the product. Uh, let's give examples. Uh, for example, there is a web application, and uh, by design on the pages, uh, on, on one of the pages, there was no footer. But it was on all other pages, and then developer decided to insert it on that page also, because it is useful for the user to have that kind of navigation through the web page. Uh, another example, uh, on the design or in written requirements, it was not specified that data should be saved when navigating through steps of some process, but it is implemented so that user does not lose his data if he goes or navigates backwards or to the next steps of that process. But the development team implemented it. And it's that's something that is not stated in the requirements, but it is developed and it gives a better user experience. You can imagine when you're trying to fill, it, fill out some form or navigating through, I don't know, for example, five steps and you fill in all your data and you go back or, uh, or you go back or forward and all your data is lost. That would be a really poor uh, experience. And maybe uh, details like that sometimes are not even discussed or, or noted and that's the, that's the time when uh, developer, developers uh, implement the things that are not specified but are really, really useful, useful for the end user. Um, for example, uh, uh, maybe when you, uh, there's a time when uh, in some fields uh, you're supposed to uh, input some long word, but the size of a field is not that uh, big so it can fit in and uh, so it can fit in so in that case uh, there can be a specification that uh, whenever that happens you just short that uh, a word and put a three dots but there's a uh, no word in the specification about uh, how can user know what is the the, the real version of that word uh, the whole word. So a developer can implement, for example, that when user hovers over that word, it is displayed in whole. Let's continue with other terms. Error. An error is a mistake or a misunderstanding on the part of the software developer team. Uh, when talking about software developer team, uh, we're talking about all the crew members, so software engineers, programmers, so developers, front-end, back-end developers, business analysts, and testers. So you're all, you're all gathered in this whole process and uh, refining it, uh, gathering all requirements, but you, some of you, or maybe all of you, did not really understand the requirement as it was supposed to be, as the client uh, wanted, it, wanted it to be. For example, a developer may misunderstood a design notation or a programmer uh, might type a variable name incorrectly, and that all leads to an error. For example, in the application, a save button was supposed to save the work, whatever that work is, and navigate user to the main page. But instead of that, 
it just saved the work. So it wasn't maybe clear enough or um, it wasn't understood that it was supposed to do that additional action after the work is saved. So it was implemented incorrectly. A bug. Bug is a term that you will hear the most. That's something that testers are using. And at the end of the road, everybody's using that, that uh, term in the team. Bug is the result of a coding error. An error found in the development environment before the product is shipped to the customer. So we're talking about all the bugs all the deviations from the expected results while the product is being developed. So that's that's a cycle that uh, we were talking about uh, in the last uh, in the previous uh, video when we were talking about what uh, tester is uh, working, what are their tasks. So we were explaining uh, in the whole process when and what is being done. So uh, while the product is being developed. Tester is uh, d seeing the uh, is uh, comparing the expected and the actual result, and he's declaring those deviations uh, as a bug. So that's an error that causes a program to work poorly, so to have a bad user experience, to produce incorrect results, or to crash. Application can crash, and here we can give following examples. Uh, some field does not reject the type of data that it should reject. For example, date of birth, some field date of birth, accepts plain text. We all know that date of birth should only accept date formats, nothing else. Uh, another example, link does not work. So it can be that uh, link does not lead to any page or it works like a link in order to, to navigate the user to some page, but it navigates him to the wrong page. Uh, another example, some button is not disabled or enabled in a case when it should be disabled and enabled. Uh, it's a lot of, uh, it's, it's a common case that while uh, working through, some navigating through some, uh, I don't know, a wizard that until some data is filled in or some other requirements, uh, some uh, button is disabled. Another example uh, about when we're talking about functionalities, the, the, the base functionalities like uh, delete functionality is not actually deleting the stuff you're trying to delete. Those are all bugs. So anything, anything that is a deviation from the expected result and that is found during the development process. So before it goes to the production, it is called a bug. Failure. Failure is the inability of a software system or a component of the software system to perform its required functions within specified performance requirements. So when the defect reaches the end customer, it is called a failure. So um, it is something that is wrong, that is not working correct, and it's already in production. Uh, while doing development, failures are usually observed by testers. Let's give some examples. On the mobile application, you're trying to submit something and it shows the loader, it's loading, loading forever and ever, and eventually it times out and your work does not get saved. Uh, for example, on some web application. Uh, some web application gets more users on production than it was supposed to. That that, that differs from the estimation of the number of users. And then it comes to a point when it cannot support that lot of users. So the users get the poor experience while using it. Application is slow, application is crashing, and etc. And the last one that we're going to cover is fault. 
Fault is an incorrect step or process or data definition in the computer program that causes the program to perform in an unintended or unanticipated manner. A fault is introduced into the software as a result of an error. So it's any kind of anomaly in the software that may cause, so, th so it behaves uh, incorrectly and not according to the specification. So um, we reached the end of the list of these terms. Uh, the very important thing is to note that software industry did not really still agree on the definitions for all the above terms. So uh, maybe when you start work tomorrow and use some of these terms, it may not be understood the way you understand them. But the important thing, the bottom line of finding a defect is actually really just to find them and to find them as early as possible so they can be fixed as early as possible so it would cost less. So um, that's really the bottom line and it's useful for you to know these these uh, different terms so you would know what is what are they about when someone someone uh, mentions them but I'm telling you so one of the most uh, used one is going to be the bug and that's the defect that is found during the development process. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, share and subscribe and see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.